What is going on guys, Bloom One Soon here, and welcome back to some more The Small Things in PC Gaming. Now this week, first thing I'm going to say, if you can hear sort of noise in the background, that is my PC. And this week's episode, of course, covers PC and how powerful they can be, and what the power of a PC actually means. Now the first question is, of course, what makes a PC powerful? As in, you know, does it, what, what does it mean to have a powerful PC? Does it mean that it can support a lot of weight on top of it? Of course not, that's dumb, you know, they all think that. Uh, what powerful PC actually means is, first of all, visual quality. How well can this PC, you know, show the game you're trying to play? Uh, does the game look really good? Does it look like it came off an N64? Does it look like uh, it's complete garbage? Or does it look incredible and is just visually stunning? That's the obvious first one. The second one is load time for something like Skyrim. How long will the game take to load? Skyrim has an awful load time. GTA 5. Uh, you know how long will that team get, how long will that game take to load? Uh, all things like that. The next one is rendering, rendering environments such in again Skyrim, uh, or even Minecraft, hell Battlefield, um, or Battlefront. As you can see, we're playing in the background. You know, if I see an attack off in the distance, does, does the game or does the PC actually render the attack fully, or is it just look like a box that kind of resembles an attack? Also, for rendering, it could be videos. How fast can your PC render a video? For example, my PC, to do a 20 minute video, 20 minute video takes around about twice the time, so 20 minutes obviously is 40 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, uh, and that can be quite a bit of time. A lot of PCs can render unbelievably quickly, say an hour long video can be done in half an hour, which is astonishing, that is really fast, but um, rarely will you ever find one that actually does cut down the time of the video, that basically never happens. Uh, and the next kind of thing, does it matter? Does it matter to have a powerful PC? Well, kind of. Now the main thing we're going to talk about is frame rate and the general quality in PC performance. You can see I'm playing Star Wars Battlefront 3, this is of course still the beta, and at the moment this is on low settings. This is what runs best for me, I run at 60 FPS plus, even on Walker Assault, but if I do up and change it to medium, which is what I play Battlefront 4 on, the frame rate goes down significantly, or well, not significantly, but it goes to 50 plus, so occasionally it gets past 60. And although the game looks very good, the frame rate is definitely a little bit slower, especially I can see when playing, uh, like I said, on Walker Assault, which is full of players, 40 players overall, huge map, lots of stuff happening in it. Um, just on survival mode here, which is the most reliable, you know, it, it still looks pretty good, but the frame rate is bad. Then on high, it again still looks incredible but the frame rate is only 45 plus now that's not astonishing the frame rate um, maybe could be a little bit higher if I had a more powerful PC this PC isn't incredibly powerful um, I did only pay 800 to 900 pounds for this so it's not a super powerful PC uh, it's basically just a general gaming PC that is going to work well but I will have to upgrade soon of course because if this game plays on low, then the problem I run into is the fact that, um, you know, of course, eventually it's going to become outdated to the point where it will struggle to play games on low, uh, which is quite a worrying thought. But just here, like I said, you can see it works pretty well on uh, high. It's not incredible, but it looks pretty good and it works pretty well. And then lastly, if we go up and set the, set the game to ultra, you can see again the game looks astonishing. It looks so pretty. Uh, and incredible, but the frame rate is pretty low. It's only 30 FPS plus, only 30 to 40 really. And although that would typically be pretty good, uh, a lot of games on console only run at 30 FPS. Hell, quite a lot of games on PC only run at 30 FPS. That's not astonishing, especially seeing a multiplayer. You know, again, like I said, on Walker Assault, there's many more players, there's many more things going on in the map. Uh, and definitely it wouldn't run a 30 FPS, it would, it would run a lot lower and although this pretty, looks pretty good in gameplay it's pretty hard to play with it. Um, I have tried a little bit and I definitely am at a disadvantage because the frame rate will be you know dropping and both players their frame rate is working perfectly fine, mine will be inconsistent and uh, it just won't be flowing as well um, but overall it, it's not too bad, like I've seen worse but it seems to work perfectly fine so just here you can see that there is 
a advantage to having good frame rate and a powerful PC that's going to work well. And of course, like I said, rendering, you know, um, if you can see an enemy off in the distance and they're so much more clearer, then, you know, you will be able to see them from miles away. But if they're, s if they're not as clear and they can see you, but you can't see them, that obviously puts you at a disadvantage because they have a clear line of sight that they can see you, but you won't be able to see them until much closer. Now, and honestly, none of this really matters, though, if, unless you have a good internet connection. Even if you run a game at 120 frames per second and it works unbelievably well, but your internet connection is running at 100 to 200 ping per second, it's not going to bother. It's not going to matter at all. Uh, you know, you could easily again go up. You could play a game at an unbelievable amount of frames. You could play a game at frames that it's just not even meant to run at. But because your internet connection is bad, it won't mean a thing. Uh, so mainly I would say if you're going to try and build a perfect gaming PC, of course power matters, but I'd say don't go out and splash everything on the PC and then don't bother about thinking of the internet at all, think about the internet and the PC. Again, if you have a thousand pounds, don't spend all of that on the PC. Spend maybe 800 on it, 800, 900 on the PC and then the rest on the internet. You know, think about the other things as well. Um, but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, do like, share and subscribe. My name is Blue Monsoon, I'll have more videos on the way, but until then, Blue Monsoon, out.